I first came to what was then St. Rita Parish during my senior year in high school. I was young, I was growing in my faith, and I was looking for a church to attend morning mass at before school each day. At this point, I really wasn't looking for a new parish community. I wasn't looking for a church family to join or to become heavily involved in. At this point in my life, I was already attending Sunday Mass with my family at a different parish in town. Yet the more I attended St. Rita, the more often I came to morning Mass there, I was struck in so many ways by the parish community. I was struck by the obvious holiness and faithfulness of the priests who ministered to the parish. I was struck by the vibrancy of the faith of the parishioners and by the way it was lived out in their lives each day. And I was struck by the reverent celebration of the liturgy that took place there. And so over time, I became more involved with St. Rita. I joined the Knights of Columbus Council that year and became a lector at Sunday Mass. And in this time, just fell deeper and deeper in love with the parish and with its people. This was all at a very important time in my life because during my senior year of high school, I was heavily discerning a vocation to the priesthood and trying to decide whether or not the Lord wanted me to enter seminary at the end of that academic year. And really, it was the prayers, the love, and the support of the people of St. Rita's that allowed me and helped me to eventually say yes to the Lord and to make that decision to apply to the seminary and later to enter after I graduated high school. That was five years ago, and in the time since, St. Rita's and now Divine Mercy Parish has continued to be that wonderful foundation and support for me on my journey through seminary. The love and the prayers of the people of, Saint, of Divine Mercy Parish continue to support me. The mentorship and the guidance of the priest has been essential and irreplaceable in my journey through seminary. And so I really just cannot say enough about what an incredible blessing Divine Mercy Parish has been for me in my life, in my discernment of priesthood, and as a Catholic man. And so I would heavily encourage any young man in the parish who might be discerning a vocation to priesthood, who might think that he might be called to be a priest, to really to open himself up to the Lord in prayer, to ask the Lord to reveal his will to him, and also to speak to the priests, speak to Monsignor de Shaka about what you're hearing the Lord say to you in prayer. And above all, to not be afraid to say yes to the Lord. God has an incredible plan for each of us in our lives. We have to believe, we have to trust in him, that we'll be the happiest when we say yes to him and we follow him wherever he might be leading.